Hi and welcome back to Yoga with Tim. I'm Tim and today I'm here with Marlene and she's going to be demonstrating the pose because she has such a nice practice. And Ollie will just be sitting here in the way the whole time. Uh, we're going to start off with a little pranayama seated or you can practice it lying down if uh, things start to ache in your back or something. <coughs> you okay? All right. <laughs> so have an upright seat. On, we're seated on blocks so you could sit up like that. Or again, you could lie down on your back. But we're gonna try something called a Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. This is alternate nostril breathing. So we're gonna basically plug one nostril, breathe in through one, plug the other, breathe out through the other. It'll make sense once you get started. First, you want your chest to be nice and open, shoulders open, and then with your eyes closed, gently tip your chin towards your chest. Then plug your left nostril, breathe out through your right, Breathe in through the right nostril. Plug the right and breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Plug the left, breathe out through the right. If possible, an ujjayi breath as you breathe in through the right, slight constriction in the back of your throat so it makes sound. Pause at the top, plug the right, and breathe out through the left. In through the left. Plug the left, out through the right. Then lower your hand down. Go back to normal breathing. But just notice the effect of the breathing meditation. And gently lift your head and open your eyes. And interlock your fingers in front of you. Turn your palms inside out. Raise your arms up. Bring your arms back down. Change the interlock, take the other index finger on top, turn the palms inside out, raise the arms up. Bring your arms back down, twist to your right, left hand to the outside of your knee, right hand behind you. Twist to your left. Come back to center, sit flat on the floor off of your block, take your fingers out to the side, fingertips down on the ground, lift your heart up, then raise your left arm, externally rotate and side bend over to the right, but sit down through your left hip as you do and you can maybe even bend the right elbow if it would help you to go further. Inhale back up, change sides, left hand down, reach your right arm up and side bend over to the left, but sit down through the right hip as you do. Inhale back up, then come into child's pose. So in child's pose, let your hips release back and down towards your heels, and then lengthen through the sides of your ribs, out through your hands, come up onto your hands and your knees, now keep your hips balanced right over top of your knees and then start to walk your hands forward. We're gonna come into puppy dog stretch. This is like a variation of down dog. So in this position, you just kind of let your spine melt in towards the floor, let the heart melt towards the floor. So this is the passive variation. You know this one, Nolly. Okay, then from here, we're gonna make it more active. Press down into your hands and then start to lift your spine up away from the floor. Lift your chest up away from the floor. And as you press down with your hands, feel your armpits engage like they're squeezing down towards your hips, like you're swimming and you're doing a stroke with the arm. That same feeling that you have to push the water down, push down. And now can you lift up the heel of your hand and lift up onto your fingertips? And feel those arms activate. Feel the spine get taller, longer. And then lower the heel of the hand back down. 
and slowly release. Good, and then come back out of that, lift yourself up, and stretch back into your downward dog. Walk your feet to the front of your mat. Bend your knees slightly and let your head drop. Feel the whole spine release into the forward fold evenly. And then slowly roll yourself up, head and neck last thing to come up. Bring your legs together, bring your palms together. And with your eyes closed, take a slow, steady breath into your nose. And let it out. Open your eyes and release your arms down at your side. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into a flat back. Step back into plank pose, one leg at a time. Hold there in your plank. Now bend your elbows a quarter of the way. And then from there, roll right into upward facing dog. Stretch back into downward dog. Walk your feet one foot at a time all the way up to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms up. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into a flat back. Step back to plank pose. Now hold in your plank. We're gonna practice this little transition to up dog one more time. So as you hold in the plank with your collarbones open, just bend your elbows out to the side a little. Now keeping those elbows bent, roll your hips through towards your hands and then roll your spine through into up dog. But keep the bend in your elbows as you're holding the up dog. You could even let your knees drop down to the floor for a moment. Good, now with that bend in your elbows, start to take the middle upper spine through your arms and draw your upper arms back. Good, now as you reach down through the tops of the feet, lift the skin above the kneecaps up towards your hips, up towards your heart, and then stretch back into downward dog. Now, if that's too gnarly on your lower back, you can always take the hands more forward. You don't have to go that deep into the down dog, up dog rather. Walk your feet all the way forward to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Ollie, don't rip your toy. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back, one leg at a time into plank. Good, now open up your collarbones and then lower into chaturanga, bending the elbows. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into down dog. Then stretch your right leg up behind you. Keep the thighs in neutral. Imagine you're squeezing a block in between your legs. Then shift forward into plank pose. Bring your knee up to your chest. Step your foot all the way up by your thumb. Inhale into crescent. Hug your right hip in, raise your arms up. Then bring your hands to heart and imagine you're being pulled up to the crown of your head. 
stay upright as you twist to your right and spread your arms out. Turn your chest forward, raise your arms up again. Bring your hands down to the mat. Step back into plank pose. Lower slowly into low plank, chaturanga, and then press straight back up into plank. Downward dog, stretch back. Raise your left leg up from the inner thigh. So imagine you had a block in between your thighs. Squeeze in, lift up to your middle. Then shift into plank, pull your knee up. And step your foot lightly up by your thumb. Draw your left hip crease back. Come up into crescent without your left hip swinging out to the side. Bring hands to prayer, lift up through your crown as you twist to your left. And spread your arms out. Then turn your chest forward, raise your arms up. Good, hands back down to the mat. Step back, plank pose. Optional chaturanga push up. Hold in your plank or lower slowly and lift back up. Downward facing dog, glide back. Look between your hands. Step or float up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into chair pose. Bend your knees, sit your hips back, arms up. Stand and release your arms at your side. Inhale into chair pose, sun salutation B. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Dog. Exhale, Downward Dog. Step your right foot, Warrior One. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Step your left foot, Warrior One. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Dog. Hold in your down dog and take a moment to reconnect to your breath. Feel your breath expanding from your center. And as you breathe out, feel your hands rooting down, your toe mounds rooting down. Bend your knees and look forward. Step or float up to the front of your mat. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair pose. Samastiti. Inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Step your right foot, Warrior One. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga.
Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good, now hold in your downward dog and with your feet, outer hips distance apart. Lift your heels up high, press down to your hands. Now spin your heels all the way over to the left. And as you do, reach through your right arm, feel the intensified stretch through your right arm side ribs. Keep stretching your hips up and away from your wrists. Spin your heels back up, lift up, and all the way over to the right. Feel the intensified stretch through your left side rib, armpit chest. Spin the heels back up, all the way over to the left, and now take your right arm up, side plank. Good. Now press down into those feet, inner and outer edge, lift your hips up higher, rotate your top arm externally, and then reach all the way over as you lift the hips up, like you're trying to do a side stretch like you would in gate latch pose. And back into downward dog, heels up. Spin the heels all the way over to the right, raise the left arm. Good, press down through the feet, activate the legs, pull up through your core. Now lift your hips up as you rotate the arm externally, reach it all the way over. Breathe through your nose. And back into downward dog, stretch back. Good job. Last part of the side plank series, inhale into plank. Come into plank on your forearms. Then with the feet still wide apart, we'll spin the heels over to the left. Take your right arm up. Now you can angle that left forearm in as much as you need to if it's feeling like there's too much pressure on the front of the shoulder. Then press down through your feet. And change sides. Bring the right elbow down, spin the heels over to the right. Instead of stacking the feet like we often do, now both feet get a place on the mat. Press down through the feet, engage your legs. Good, then come back into plank on your forearms. And for just a moment, lower your hips down to the floor and come into Sphinx Pose. Then curl your toes back under. Lift your knees, hips up, come up into plank on your hands, and stretch back into downward dog. From downward dog, step your right foot up by your right thumb, crescent lunge. Inhale your arms up. Bring your hands to prayer, lean your heart out over your knee, and twist. Take your left elbow to your knee. Then press down through your feet, lift up through your uh, pelvic floor, low abs, and come back up into crescent, arms up. Good, now as you hold here in crescent, take your right hand onto your lower back and your left hand behind your head. So based on your shoulder mobility, this might be enough stretch for you. Hold here, or you could start to slide the hands towards each other but you shouldn't crinkle up your neck and your chest to do it. Now lean your chest out halfway and pause there, but keep the chest open, heart reaching forward. Inhale, come back up. Then release the arms down at your side keeping the front of both shoulders open, lean your chest out halfway again, 
Now stretch through your arms past your fingers and hold there or step up to balance into warrior three. Now without your left foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up, raise your arms up. Without your butt tucking, stretch your legs straight out in front of you like it's pressing into a wall. Then bend your knees and wrap your left leg up and over your right and cross your left elbow under. Hold here for five breaths. Uncross your arms and your legs. Stand in mountain pose. <sighs> Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. That was a tough one. Inhale into a flat back, get length. Step back, vinyasa, or just go right back to down dog, your call. Step your left foot for crescent. Inhale, raise your arms up. Then bring your hands to prayer and lean your chest out over your knee. Twist, hook your elbow to your knee. So as you're holding here, feel most important primary is the sense of elongation through the spine. And then secondary, start to find your twist as you soften your belly, spin from your right side lower belly up towards your left chest. But make sure that you don't bend out of the midline as you're twisting deeper. Now press down through your feet, come back up into crescent, arms up. Then slide your left hand behind your back from under and right arm from above. So you can start with the hand on the head, other hand on the lower back. Just work on opening up the elbows here. Now if that feels like a lot of stretch, just stay there. But if you need to slide the hands closer towards each other to feel something, then do that. You can even bind with the fingers or use a strap or a towel. Keep your head balanced right up on top. Without the head leading the way, lead the way with your heart. Start to lean forward halfway. Reach past the heel, reach through the elbow. Then come back upright. Uncross the arms, hands down at your side. Open the front of both shoulders and then start to lean your chest out over your knee. Halfway, pause there. Step up to balance, warrior three. Then without your foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up, raise your arms up, and stretch your legs straight out in front of you. Then bend both knees and cross your right leg up and over your left, right elbow under. Uncross your arms and your legs, stand in mountain. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Now squat down for crow pose. 
Lift your heels, take your knees wide, hook the knees into the outer upper arms, and see if you can start to lean into your chaturanga arms and balance. Once you have the balance, tuck the buttocks towards the heels, lift the heels towards the buttocks, and then start to pull the knees up higher as you straighten the arms. Then look forward and lightly step or float back into Chaturanga. Nice, good job. Upward facing dog. Stretch back into downward dog. Jump through to seated. Lie down onto your back. Take your legs straight up in the air. Hands at your side. Now imagine that someone was pulling your hips out of your lower back, and at the same time, someone had taken you from the back of the neck and stretched you away from your hips. So the spine is really long, and the shoulders are open, the chest is open. Now hold your abdominals in and lower your right leg slowly, halfway. Then see if you can lower it so it's just an inch above the floor without your middle popping up at all. Hug those abdominals back in. Then like scissors, change the legs in midair. Bring the left leg down as the right leg comes up. And see if you can hold it so it's just an inch above the floor, keeping the abs in without the shoulders jumping up. Change legs again. Change legs again. Now, if you can make the legs straight, let me see them get really straight, tighten the top of the kneecap on both legs. Change legs. So legs of steel, turn on those leg muscles. Now both legs up, lower both legs a third of the way to the floor, buttocks out of your lower back, abdominals in, lower another third of the way, don't let the shoulders creep up, neck long. Lower one more inch if you can, abs in, and back up. One more time, lower a third of the way, don't let that belly pop up. Lower another third of the way, abs in, Lower one more inch. Bring the legs back up. Good, now bring your hands behind your head. Bend your knees. Crunch up to your knees. And then twist to your right knee. And then send your left leg forward without your belly following. Change legs, twist to the left. Change sides, twist to your right. Change sides, twist to the left, to the right, to the left, back to center. Now lower your head down, take both legs straight up, then cross your right ankle over your left, squeeze your legs in, lift your buttocks straight up towards the ceiling and crunch up to your knees. Lower your hips in your head, change the cross of your legs. Squeeze in, curl up, and lift up. Oh, come on, squeeze those legs, really lift up. And release, oh my gosh. Take Baddha Konasana legs, set the feet down, let the knees open up wide, let your chest open. Then bring your knees together, hands at your side, press your heels down and lift your hips up for bridge pose. Feel your chest muscles spread, feel the shoulders roll open. Lower your hips back down. Go back up, bridge or Urvadhanyarasan. Finally, somebody who could do Urva Dhanurasana because I can't ever do it on the channel. <laughs> this is a real treat for us. This is why I thought Marlene is going to be perfect. She does everything so good. And then lower yourself back down. Now that Stacy surf, she's always complaining about her tight shoulders, so she doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> All right, then from here, let's uh, hug the knees gently into the chest.
and then cross your right knee over your left knee as best you can. Grab a hold the tops of the feet like uh, bicycle handlebars. Go over the top. Yeah. Change the cross of your legs. And then stretch your legs out for Shavasana. Let your hands rest at your side, palms up. Let go. So now as you're holding here in Shavasana and relaxing, visualize each exhalation moving down past your feet and away from you. And with each exhalation, you'll allow your body to release any tension down past the feet and away from you. And any thoughts that come up, any worries or concerns, visualize with the breath, they're being carried down past your feet and away from you. So all there is is space. Connecting to the vast, infinite space in the inner body. And feel when there's this much space, when you're relaxed, how much more connected you are to the flow of energy in your body. You could feel the flow of energy in the body when you're relaxed like this. So now you're coming very close to a meditative state. And this is really the aim of our yoga practice to start to put us into that meditative state. Ideally, we like to be in that throughout the whole physical practice. Then gently bend your knees. Roll over to your right side and press yourself up to seated. Bring your palms together as you sit up tall just for a moment of mindfulness. Notice how the body feels as opposed to how it felt at the beginning of class. Notice the quality of your breath. And notice your current mental state. Being grateful for this time that we had together and for all the benefits that yoga brings you, mind, body, spirit. Lower your head towards your heart. Lift your head and open your eyes. Thank you. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Marlena, for coming and showing us how it's done. Hey, if you enjoyed the, the class today, then hit the like button. If you want to see Marlena come back, let me know below. Uh, it was good for me. I don't have to do anything. And then uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, take a moment to do that and turn on the notifications bell because that's a new thing that you have to do, apparently. I didn't know this and I'm watching other channels and realized it was important. So do that too. Okay, have a great day.